During the time of the prophet Samuel, Israel was a nation under the guidance of prophets and judges, ultimately ruled by God. Israel, however, wanted a king. Like all other nations, they wanted a man of their own choosing to rule them. Samuel was perplexed by this idea and knew this was a bad decision. The people of Israel demanded a king. As usual, Samuel prayed. God answered his prayer and told Samuel, Obey the voice of the people. They have rejected me from being king over them. Solemnly warn them and show them the ways of the king who shall reign over them. He told the people, You'll be disappointed in the king. He will tax you, take land and crops from you, and work you harder than you thought possible. The people were persistent. In the tribe of Benjamin, there lived a young man named Saul. He was taller and better looking than anyone else in the whole nation. This was the kind of king that the Israelites wanted. Samuel anointed Saul as the king of Israel. In a grand coronation ceremony, Samuel presented Saul to the people. Long live the king, Israel shouted. The new king got right to work. One of Israel's enemies, the Ammonites, invaded an Israelite city. Saul summoned the people. The men came, hundreds of thousands of them. They gathered as an army, surrounded the city, and slaughtered the enemy. Saul went out again with his army and slaughtered another invading force. The more victory Saul had, the prouder he became. Israel and Saul soon forgot that God was responsible for their victory. But then something changed. After yet another successful battle, Saul was supposed to wait for the priest Samuel to come so he could offer a sacrifice. Instead, he decided that he himself was worthy of sacrificing to God. This was a big mistake. Samuel showed up soon after and confronted him. You have sinned, Samuel told him. God's favor and blessing on Saul was about to change. Things got worse. Sure, Saul was enjoying great military success, but he was also disobeying God's commandments. As Saul came to one enemy city, preparing to conquer it, God told Saul and his army, destroy everything. But Saul disobeyed. Instead, he took the good stuff for himself. He didn't destroy it. He stole. God had to reject Saul as king of Israel. Later on, when God chose David to be Israel's next king, Saul's fury increased. He was jealous of David and called out his entire army to find David and kill him. Sadly, Saul's life came to an end during a battle with the Philistines. He was wounded by an arrow from the enemy. Rather than be killed by the enemy, he decided to end his own life. He fell upon his sword and died. What a tragic end for Israel's first king. They had wanted a king so badly. They thought they had him, tall, strong, handsome, and a great warrior. But he rejected God, so God rejected him as king.